Good morning. It is Wednesday, December the 22nd. The Psalms for today are Psalms 106 through 110. I want to talk to you again just for a few minutes, uh, briefly for a few minutes about Psalm 106. Psalm 106 starts out, Praise the Lord. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. And then the psalmist goes on to recount several periods of unfaithfulness on the part of God's people. God delivers them out of Egypt with a mighty hand, and then a few days later they're griping and complaining that they don't have anything to eat and that they don't have anything to drink, and they a lot of them wish they could just go back to Egypt. Yes, they were slaves, uh, but at least they had food to eat and water to drink. And then he recounts the uh, Aaron making the golden calf. Moses is up on the mountain with God, and he's been gone for a while, and they don't know if he's coming back. And so they ask Aaron to make them a golden calf, and he gathers up some gold and throws it into the fire. And lo and behold, out comes a golden calf, and they fall down and they worship it. And he talks about their unfaithfulness when they get to the land of Canaan. They send in the 12 spies and they all come back and say, man, that's a beautiful land. It is flowing with milk and honey. Uh, the produce is just wonderful. But I tell you, there are, some, there are some mighty strong cities there and these people are giants. And I don't know if we can take this. And again, Joshua and Caleb remain faithful and said, sure, sure we can. Uh, you know, God's going to, God said he would give these people into our hands. Sure, we can take it. And recounts several incidents, again, which they just failed to believe in God. And then he writes in verse 43, many times he delivered them, but they were rebellious in their purposes and were brought low through their iniquity. Nevertheless, he looked upon their distress when he heard their cry. For their sake, he remembered his covenant and relented according to the abundance of his steadfast love. And so the people of Israel would go off and get into trouble because they just didn't trust God. And every time they got in trouble, they would cry out to God and he would hear them in their distress. And because of his steadfast love, he would deliver them. And the psalmist closes by saying, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. And let all the people say, Amen. Take some time today to reflect on all the times the Lord has delivered you when you've gotten in trouble. And then blessing for that. Well, I pray that you'll have a great day.